in the olden days, our grandparents, they would bring a chicken to the doctor. Just check the directory to make sure your doctor is in Chicken Network. Sue Loudon, one of the Republicans trying to challenge Harry Reid for U.S. Senate, is being turned into a national punchline these days. The latest on the, quote, chicken gate, end quote, as some are calling it. It's tonight's Channel 2 News Big Story at 5.30. Good evening. I'm Bill Brown, in for Kristen and Wendy tonight. Thank you for joining us. Well, her opponents are calling her plan on health care chickens for checkups. But Sue Loudon's comments on health care have gone far beyond drawing fire from her political rivals. The national media is just having a field day with this. Brandon Ritterman joins us live in studio with more. Brandon, those in politics say this does not bode well for her? No, Bill. It appears there is such a thing as bad publicity after all. This goes well beyond the flood of jokes that you're about to hear. It's about damage control, and political watchers don't think Loudon's doing a very good job of it. In case you missed it, Sue Loudon first got flack a few weeks ago for telling a town hall to barter with their doctors. Those doctors who you pay cash, you can barter. And uh, that would get prices down in a hurry. That got the attention of Jay Leno. But what if your doctor's not Amish, okay? What do you do? <laughs> Still, things didn't explode until she went on Nevada Newsmakers, a local interview show. I'm telling you that this works. You know, before we all started having health care in the olden days, our grandparents, they would bring a chicken to the doctor. I, I'm not backing down from that system. The backlash was intense. Just bring a chicken to the doctor. Comedian Stephen Colbert devoted almost five minutes to a segment on chickens for checkups. You can buy one for about eight bucks. Then, when the doctor wants to charge you $40,000 to put a stent in your heart, <laughs> offer him the chicken. Colbert went on to joke that you should insure yourself with other farm animals in case your doctor doesn't feel like chicken tonight. It got play on news networks as well. Did I mention that I'm not making this up? We caught up with Sue Loudon and asked what she thought about all the buzz. I, I, I'm not sure uh, what to say as far as if it's been dragged out of proportion. One political scientist told me this is where Loudon gets into trouble. She's not clearing this up. And while the whole affair seems ridiculous to some, if a candidate can't handle a gaffe about chickens, they might not expect too much support in the ballot box. You don't regret your statement? I, I, I talk about the fact that the Reid campaign is desperate to change the subject from his very unpopular health care bill. Just bring a chicken to the doctor. Bring a Her political the enemies doctor. are making hay out of this. The liberal group Progress Now made this YouTube video and invited others to make more. There's even a website now with a chicken converter. Loudonplan.com figures you should pay a thousand chickens to get your appendix removed or 6,500 chickens for a hip replacement. And the Loudon campaign's basically acting as if all this doesn't matter. We're barely more than a month away from the primary, though, and she's going to have to hope Republican voters don't start thinking about chickens when they see her name on the ballot. On Campaign 2010, live in the studio, Brandon Ritterman, Channel 2 News.